week, the state's only safe haven box in the St. Louis area took in its first surrendered baby. Southwest Missouri doesn't have any of those boxes, but new parents do have options. Chris Bryant has more on what's available here. The Missouri Department of Social Services says that Missouri's safe place for newborns law allows a parent to permanently surrender a child that's up to 45 days old without fear of prosecution. For locations that are a safe place, knowing someone could come surrender a child isn't an easy decision. Uh, number one thing is to take care of the child. Uh, but man, that's a hard decision when you get to that point is to give up give up your child. You know, you're going to walk into a fire station or a police station and say, here, here's my baby and walk off. That's rough. In the state of Missouri, parents need to know the decision is permanent. The newborn must be left with someone at a safe place location. Ones that are staffed um, by a, a career department are required to have a safe haven sticker on the front of the building. Uh, the volunteer departments obviously aren't there uh, a man 24 hours a day, uh, so they're not required. Now the thing about it is, is even though we're required to have that, we may be on a call, so there may not be anybody here. The safe place law says law enforcement, EMTs, and hospital staff are among those you are allowed to leave the child with. Sometimes the babies that are surrendered in these boxes may be um, a young woman who didn't want anyone to know that she was pregnant and maybe she delivers at home and now she has this baby and what does she do? Once a child is surrendered, they are immediately taken to the nearest hospital for any treatment they may need. Yeah, when the baby would first arrive through our emergency department, we would assess that baby, make sure that everything was going well for the baby, the baby's not sick or injured or any of those things. Once we know that baby, the status of the baby, we are going to call Children's Division. We're all mandated reporters. A hotline set up through the safe haven provides resources and help to new parents through the process. That number is one 866 99 baby one. Anyone, regardless of if there is a safe haven baby box in your community, can call that line to help get guidance. Chief Compton tells me the cost of the safe haven boxes are around $20,000. That's before installation, which makes it cost prohibitive for some departments. In Republic, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.